Hello guys, it's Pete from MyJuryBench.com. Today we're going to have a battle of the 3D printers. The Elegoo Mars vs. z Pax one using the Elegoo Gray Resin and the Sireia White Resin. Pick your winner. Let's get started. So I had a little extra time and I thought I'd do this little battle test between the two printers and I decided to make this ring. Um, small ring, just something I you know, had in my head stuck so I quickly modeled it. It took me about 45 minutes and I decided to put in enough detail so that when the printers print it would show me which one printer could print the best detail and which resin would work the best. I used uh, Sierra or Sierra white resin and I also used the Elegoo gray resin. I started out with the gray resin in the Elegoo Mars and then I swapped the, the white resin so back and forth between the two printers. And just in case you're wondering, these are the printer settings that I used. I had uh, five layers of 50 seconds each, 12 seconds per layer at 0.03 millimeters on the Z axis. And I matched all settings for both printers. So here you can see I've got the rings all set to go. Um, obviously, they're both using Sheet 2 Box Slicer, and they have the same, about the same firmware. There's some differences because of the manufacturers. Uh, when I started them, we had approximately 5 hours, 35 minutes on the Elegoo Mars and about 4 hours on the, uh, the Epax X1, which was pretty good. I thought that was a, a good calculation there. I came up with about 19%. So here you can see I was right on the money. Uh, when the Epax finished, we had 81% done on the Mars. So here's my models. They didn't turn out too bad. I am not crazy about this white resin. The two on the left, uh, which are now on the bottom, they were printed on the Epax. The two on the right were printed with the Mars. And uh, what I noticed is that the Elegoo gray resin printed perfect in both printers. Um, I did have a 19% improvement in speed on the Epax. Um, the, the white resin from Sireia, Sireia uh, is a fast curing resin and it left, you can see, a very shiny substance. I, I don't have a use for that kind of resin in jewelry design, but you know guys, it, it, every model I've printed with this resin comes out shiny and it kind of fills in. You get a lot less detail, but kind of a smoother finish. So if you print stuff that needs that, uh, I would recommend that, but I don't have much use for that resin. I'm not impressed with it. So who are the winners? The winner of this is the Epax X1 for speed. It printed in just over four hours. And the gray resin from Elegoo. I think those two take the cake. Now, it doesn't mean the Mars isn't any good. The Mars is perfect. I love my Mars and I'm not giving it up. I hope this helps you guys. I'll be doing more of these battles in the coming weeks. Hey, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're not a subscriber, please consider subscribing. If there's anything you want to see, please leave a comment in below and I will be happy to get back to you. Thanks for watching, guys. Thanks guys for taking the time to watch some of my videos. I really appreciate it. If you like these videos and you find them helpful, please give me a thumbs up. And if you want to see new stuff that I put out, usually on a weekly basis, hit the subscribe button and you can get notified by clicking on that little bell. I really appreciate any uh, sharing that you can do and the thumbs up that I get if you like these videos kind of helps with uh, my channel to grow. You'll see that in the descriptions and on my website, I do put affiliate links to products that I show and use in these videos. Those affiliate links uh, give me a little small commission, doesn't cost you anything if you buy them. And when you buy within the first 24 hours of clicking on those links, I get a tiny little commission that helps keep this channel going. Any little bit helps to keep this up and running. Again, thanks for taking the time to watch it. If you liked it, hit that thumbs up and share on social media. Take care guys, happy watchmaking and jewelry making.